Come on everyone, chop chop, we're going live in five minutes. Any final touch-ups, you make them now. No exceptions, you can't come back while we're filming. Hair and makeup, come on ladies, what are you doing? Hurry up, off the set. Tommy, what the hell are you doing? Move that mic up, it's in the camera shot. There we go, that our boy Tommy. Alright everyone, remember we are going live, so no interruptions on the set. Let's go. <sighs> okay, deep breaths. I can do this. I can do this. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sandra Grove. I am the author of the Boogeyman book. It has been nine and a half years since I published my book, and ten years since the event in the book took place. I am now finally ready to speak publicly about the events in the book. Many people have speculated whether it was all made up, whether I'm just a woman with too much time on my hands, or whether everything I wrote was real. I'm here today to publicly read my book and put any rumors to rest. These events were real. These were real people with real lives. Not some fictional characters made up to amuse you in a book. Amber was a real person. She's the reason all of these events took place. So please take that into consideration. <sighs> Let's begin. It all started on the autumn of 1949, precisely one year after Amber went missing. This autumn had been particularly stormy, but the weather had cleared up just enough for me to catch the bus. A week prior to the events, I had received an invitation in the mail from a friend called George. His family were quite well off and they owned a mansion up in the hills. Every year, a group of friends and I would gather at his holiday home and discuss what we'd been up to that year. It was a great way to stay in touch with people you were friends with from school. I think everyone was nervous going back there. A year after Amber had disappeared. But we wanted to be there for George. I mean, she was his sister after all. Well, no turning back now. I'd be careful if I was you, young lady. Why? Is there something I should be scared of out there? Well, nothing I'd be worried about. Just some local rumors going around about ghosts. But it's all heebie-jeebie. I'm sure you'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. I'm not much a believer in that kind of stuff. Plus, I have all my friends with me. Thank you for the warning, though. Well, I guess I'm back. Looks like George wasted no time putting up these posters. I guess you can't blame him though. It has been a year. Hmm. I wonder if George knows he has mail. Oh well, I'll tell him when I get inside. Hey, Sandra. Vicky, I didn't know you were here already. It's so good to see you. Yeah, I caught a ride with Jeremy and his new girlfriend. I needed some fresh air. She's really sweet, but oh my dog, can she talk. But now that you're here, we should go back inside. Come on. I'm sure George is really excited to see you. George did a good job on the decorations. I'm glad his energy is going into something positive. 
Yeah, I was kind of excited to get his invitation. It'd be good to see everyone again. Anyway, George and Jeremy are upstairs. I believe Jeremy's girlfriend's there too. Oh, I better get that. Looks like I'm gonna be the doorman for the day. <laughs> Hey, Sandra. This is my uh, girlfriend, Polly. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm uh, kind of familiarizing myself with everyone right now, so hi. <laughs> hi. I didn't know Jeremy had gotten into a relationship so soon. <clears throat> well, I, uh, I really like Polly, and I don't think that's any of your business, Sandra. Okay. Now, do you guys know where George is? I actually came up here to talk to him. He's in the next room over. He's sorting out the fireplace right now. Thank you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Polly. Oh, likewise. Well, that was a bit uncomfortable to say the least. Ah, uh, don't mind her, babe. She's always been a bit sour grapes towards me. Now. Come here. Oh. Careful, don't want to burn yourself. Oh, uh, oh, Sandra, hey. Hey, long time no see, huh? How have you been? Well, coping as best I can, but I am really glad you decided to come. I didn't think you would show up, to be honest. I've really missed you. You know? <laughs> well, I brought you a present in my bag. It's something small, but I think you're really gonna like it. Mmm, here. <sighs> oh. Uh, uh. Um. Uh, I don't know what to say. I know it's only small, but. I thought you might appreciate a framed photo of her. She was more than just a missing poster, you know? This really means a lot, Sandra. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go put it in her room. Do you wanna come with? I think you should do this one, George. Um, hi. I don't mean to barge in, but I was wondering where your bathroom was. <clears throat> um... It's to the left of the living room. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Sorry again. Huh. Uh, well, I'll go put this in a room. Thanks again, Sandra. Hmm. <sighs> I wish you were here, Amber. I used to love warming up in front of the fireplace with you. Chatting about boys and school. <sighs> Hello? Is someone there? <sighs> I must be hearing things. What in the name of dog? <laughs> hey Polly, if you don't mind me asking, what are you doing in my bathroom? <laughs> I'm just having a quick bath. I hope you don't mind. I forgot to go before we came here, and if we're spending the night, I want to be nice and clean. Well, if I was you, I'd be checking for peeping toms. <laughs> What? Ah, get out of here! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have a great body. Ugh. Such an idiot. Now 
this as a luxury I could get used to. Maybe it's a little more to the left. I'm not too sure. I don't know where you're looking, but I can't see anything. Oh, hey, Georgie boy, what's up? Long time no see. So, uh, why do you keep the good stuff? Glad to see you're still breaking into my liquor. I keep the white wine under the sink. Just don't break the bottle, okay? <laughs> you got busted. Come on. Um, I think you mean I strategically timed it? I mean, if I wasn't up here, he wouldn't have seen me and we wouldn't be finding the white wine right now. <sighs> hey sis, not sure if you can hear me, or if you're even there, but uh, Sandra bought a really nice picture of you and I wanted to put it in here. I know I haven't changed your room since you disappeared because I still have hope you'll come back, but I hope you don't mind if I put this picture in here. It's of you. <laughs> you look really beautiful, sis. So, yeah, I'll go put it up now. Be seeing things. Whew, shake it off. Shake it off. Go out and mingle. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> hey man, thanks for letting me into your wine. You got the good stuff, I'm telling ya. By the way, Ruby and her boyfriend just arrived. They're upstairs already, so you might want to say hi. Alright, thanks. You two should come up as well. We should all be together, you know? Oh, I think I got the hiccups. But come on, we should be up there with everyone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Come on. Jeremy, I have a headache. Thanks for letting me know. I'll be sure to write it down in my diary. Don't give me that. I know you work at a pharmacy. I have really bad cramps, so do you have anything for that kind of pain? I don't want it to ruin my night, okay? Jeez, talk about TMI. And yeah, I do have something actually. Here. Just take this little pill and your cramps will be gone in no time. It's kind of like a numbing agent. A numbing agent? That doesn't sound very safe. Look, you gonna take the pill or not? I might work at a pharmacy, but I'm certainly not a walking one. I don't carry every single medication on me. Okay, okay, just give it here. <sighs> now you might feel a little drowsy. If that happens, just lay down. Yeah, okay, thanks. Fear not, children. The life of the party is here. Oh, it's just you two? Well, I don't really care then. Where's everyone else? Well, Vicky is downstairs. You probably passed her on your way up here. Well, yeah, her and Nathan were down there, but they're boring. I'm looking for the exciting people. You literally know everyone here except Polly. Who are you expecting? Frank Sinatra to jump out? I don't think so. Ugh, shut your pie hole, Jeremy. You're the last person I want to speak to. <sighs> Baby! You better step off for my girl, man. You don't want to get in trouble. Hate to break it to you, man, but me and Ruby dated for a year. And if her dating record is anything to go by, she either wants you for protection or money. So I'm not worth getting in a fight with. Trust me. <sighs> Screw you, Jeremy! <sighs> Watch yourself, man. I mean it. 
<sighs> Babe, are you finished in the bathroom yet? Like, seriously, you're taking forever. <sighs> just a minute. I'm just drying my fur. <sighs> it's okay, Polly. You are an attractive dog. You're not jealous of anyone. <sighs> you are an attractive dog. You're not jealous of anyone. Get it together, girl. Hush, hush, hush. Here comes the boogeyman. Hey, Nathan. No surprise to see you with a drink in your hand, party animal. What can I say? I love liquor and ladies. <sighs> I made it. I made it. Wait, where's George? I thought he was coming upstairs. My man just freaking teleported. What the tail? Um, have you guys seen George? No. Last time I saw him, he was headed downstairs. He probably forgot something. He'll be up here soon, I'm sure. I can't believe he spoke like that. Like, who does he think he is? Okay, we dated, and okay, maybe my dating history isn't the best, but what the actual tale? Babe, it's fine. Don't even listen to him. You just enjoy the party, and let's enjoy each other's company, okay? You and me. Okay, okay, you're right. Plus, I think I see Vicky. Come on, let's mingle. Whew. What a woman. Oh, okay. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it's called thunder. They said it was going to rain today anyway. Sorry I took so long, guys. I was just checking on dinner. Now that everyone's here, could we please gather near the fireplace? I have a few words to say. After you, madame. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. You should go check on Polly, Jeremy. I'm a little worried about her. She's been in there for a while. Trust me, you don't know what Polly's like. She always wants to look her best. Well, whenever she's ready, just come on through, okay? Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sure Polly and Jeremy will join midway through, but I just want to get started. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for coming here this year. I know some of you are a bit uneasy about the whole situation, but I think it's what Amber would have wanted. She loved parties, she loved her friends, and she loved being around people in general. So I think it's only right that we continue the tradition, in her honor at least. Here, here, I'll drink to that, man. <laughs> and to that, I say thank you again, everyone. So I got a fun night planned for us. Games, drinks, food, the works. So whenever you're ready, just head downstairs and grab a drink, grab a snack, and just relax. I'll call you all up into the family room once I'm ready for the games to begin. And yeah, just have a good time, guys. That's what it's all about. So where exactly will we all be sleeping? Well, the third floor is still being worked on, so I don't want any of you guys to get sick with the working materials, so I'll be sleeping up there. But on the first floor, there's a room with a bunch of sleeping bags in it. I hope you guys don't mind. No one really lives here anymore, so I haven't really had the time to go buy 50 beds, you know? Well, thank dog I packed my own sleeping bag. Jeez. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop being such a drama queen and relax. <laughs> you are completely gone. Come on, you need to lay down before you hurt yourself. We'll go check out the sleeping bags. Come on. Oh, okay, enough is enough. This is getting ridiculous. Polly, come on, you're taking forever. This is ridiculous. Do you need me to come in there or something? Jeremy. Uh, uh. Polly, babe, are you okay? Holy crap, Polly. Babe, I'm here, I'm here. Are you okay? Jeez. I think I slipped on a bar of soap. 
I'm not too sure. My head's killing me. Hey, don't worry. I'll run downstairs and get some bandages. I'll call George in here to look after you, okay? George! Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment. George, come on, man! Hey, what's wrong? Polly, man, she slipped over and hit her head real bad. Do you have any bandages somewhere? Yeah, yeah, downstairs in the kitchen cabinet. Do you want me to watch her for you? Yeah, man, thanks. <clears throat> uh, Polly? It's, uh, George. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, yeah. Y yeah, come in. I am super sorry about what happened. I keep a spare collar in the next room if you want me to go get it for you. Just so you're, you know, a bit covered up. <laughs> That'd be great, thanks. And I'm the one who should be saying sorry. I'm the one who went and slipped. <laughs> I might just go wash my face while you do that. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. Just don't do anything too hardcore. I don't want you hurting yourself again. Hmm, where did I put it? Hey, uh, you guys haven't seen a spare collar anywhere, have you? Polly hurt herself and, uh, I just need something to cover her up. <laughs> no surprise there, Jeremy dating the dumb girl. Uh, uh, yeah, man. I think I saw something under the phone in the next room. There was no need for that, babe. Oh, don't give me that. You're just as cruel as I am. Come on. <sighs> um, what are you doing in here? Look, I don't want any trouble. I, 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 I don't want any trouble, okay? Please, you don't have to do this. Please, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. Okay, babe, I got some bandages. Babe? Hello? Babe? B babe? Babe? Oh my dog. Oh my dog! George! George! Hey, uh, how's Polly doing? I'm still looking for that collar. She's dead, man. She's freaking dead. She's she's in the bathroom. She's freaking dead. Calm down, calm down. What do you mean she's dead? She was fine five seconds ago. I just saw her. I don't know, man. All I saw was freaking blood everywhere, and she's not breathing. I don't know what to do. She's dead. You need to call someone. Okay, okay, I'll call, I'll call. Just stay calm, all right? Come on, man, hurry up. Someone did that. That wasn't an accident. We need to warn everyone. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Dude, what was that? Everything's black. What was that? You have to be kidding me right now. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? The power went out, man. Look, we've always had trouble with the power during storms, and there's a backup generator in the house, but we need to get downstairs first. You have to be freaking kidding me with this. Come on. <sighs> Come on. What's up with you two? You look like you've seen a ghost, man. <laughs> Dude, Polly is freaking dead. Don't ask questions. We just need to find everyone and get the tail out of here. The freaking power went off if you didn't realize. Jeremy, I thought you and George weren't even that good of friends. Yet you're teaming up for this lame Halloween prank. Please. Oh no, the lights went off and it got really spooky. Help me. <laughs> this is pathetic. You really need to do better than this. This isn't a trick. We're being serious. Now where is everyone? Yeah, yeah, okay. But if you really want to know, Vicky and her little crush went off to check out the sleeping bags like they said. And I don't really know where that other chick is.
haven't seen Sandra since we were upstairs, so she's probably part of your little Halloween trick as well, right? This is not good. You go look for Sandra, and you go look for Vicky. Okay, deal. You don't think Jeremy's girlfriend really is, you know, dead, right? No, they're just playing. Their acting's not even that good, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of like the low light. Has anyone ever told you that you're the most attractive feline they've ever seen? <laughs> no, but I like the sound of that. How about you get comfy in bed and I'll slip into something more comfortable. I won't be too long. Yes, ma'am. I'll be waiting under the sheets for you. <laughs> I've been waiting for it, gorgeous. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here I am. I hope you're ready. Stop playing around. Get out of there. <laughs> Vicky, what's wrong? He's... 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 Oh, my dog. Quick, come with me right now. We need to get back to the kitchen. Hurry. Okay, Vicky, listen, you're gonna meet up with everyone in the kitchen. I just need to go get George and Sandra, okay? Can you hear me? He was dead. He was dead. He was dead. He was dead. Vicky, listen to me. Come on. Look at me, Vicky. You're going to go into the kitchen, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. I I'll go there now. Okay, now we gotta find George. Sandra, are you okay? I don't feel so good. Jeremy gave me some tablets, but I don't think they were for cramps. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. Don't go passing out on me. Just lay down on the bed, okay? I don't even know how you got in here. I don't really remember, but uh, okay. <sighs> Hey, did you find Vicky? Man, something serious is going on in here. We all need to meet in the kitchen right now. Okay, well, Sandra's out of her freaking mind right now. We'll just have to leave her here. Sandra, we're going to go into the kitchen. Just yell if you need us, okay? We are right next door. Come on. Ugh. Sorry, Sandra. The medicine was just meant to be a stupid prank. Uh, I didn't mean for it to go like that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, where am I? <laughs> what was that? Hey, Vicky, are you okay? Nathan's dead. <laughs> He's dead. This all just feels like a bad dream and I want to wake up now. <laughs> oh, dog, they got you in on the prank as well. You guys are really committed to spooking me, I swear. Babe, I, I don't think she's lying. I mean, look at her, she's crying. <sighs> That's what they want you to think. Listen, the lights probably just got turned off and they didn't go out in the storm. So I'm gonna go upstairs and call someone, okay? This party is mega lame and I wanna go home before things start getting super weird. Hey, uh, are you okay? D do you want to wear my collar? I mean, you look a little cold. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. This is absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Great, looks like the power really did go out. Now I don't have a working phone, and I'm stuck in this freaking hellhole. <sighs> Who was that? Listen, if it's one of you playing a stupid, dumb joke, this isn't funny anymore. Um, who's there? Oh my dog. No, this, is, this can't be real. There you go. I know it's not a lot, but it should help. Thank you. Uh, how's Sandra doing? Sandra's fine, but Jeremy told me what happened on the way here. I am so sorry, Vicky. We need to get this sorted out ASAP and stick together. As much as I want everyone to stick together, Ruby went upstairs to check on the phone. She didn't believe us that this was real, and I haven't heard back from her since. Look, I can go look for Ruby. You two need to go find that generator. And Vicky, how about you watch your friend Sandra? Um, okay. Are you sure you're gonna be okay by yourself? Thanks for your concern, but I can take care of myself. I'm a two-time grand champion boxer. Now, let's get moving. I want to get Ruby, Sandra, and go. I'll go keep an eye on Sandra. Okay then. So, where's the generator? Uh, it's in my study. Come on. This way, man. The generator is at the back of the room here. Uh, this is your study, right? George, are you okay? Like, I know you've been going through a super hard time and everything, but... All these missing posters everywhere. You have cleaning products over there. It's a little suspicious, man. Especially with everything that's freaking going down in there. Are you accusing me of something, Jeremy? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't want to say I am. But you have to agree. It's weird. You know? You invite us all up here and then we're getting picked off one by one. You're not angry at us, are you? Of course I'm freaking angry at you. You were all there when Amber went missing. You and Amber were dating, and as much as you want to say you weren't, you clearly were. She was vulnerable and you took advantage of that. On top of that, Nathan got her drunk. Ruby planned that prank with you and Vicky didn't warn her. So when you and Amber were alone, and she thought she could trust you, everyone jumped from out of the bed and said, Surprise! We caught you. She ran into the woods and hasn't been seen since. You're all just as guilty as each other, you know that? So you're saying this was you? You're insane, you know that? Yeah, it was a dumb prank, but none of us thought Amber would run away and freaking disappear. I'm not saying it's me at all. I'm just saying I have a reason to be angry. Ugh. Looks like the generators started back up. Come on. You can go on ahead. I don't want to go with you right now. I don't want to believe it, but I know it's you, George. I just need to find evidence. Huh? Ugh, I knew it was you. <coughs> oh, after him. Yes, sister. I see you got the power back on. Oh my dog! Listen, I haven't got much time. This knife is the only thing keeping my throat intact right now. We all need to go upstairs and find Ruby and her boyfriend. Then we need to call the police and make sure to stay away from George at all costs. Uh, okay, okay, uh, Sandra, come on. 
Uh, Amber. Uh, uh. Uh, I don't know what to do. She won't get up. Listen, I gave her something that would make her hallucinate. It was just meant to be a joke. It was only meant to last a couple minutes, but uh, she must have had some kind of allergic reaction to it. You drugged her? Are you insane? Oh, look, there's no time for that now. We need to get upstairs. Come on. We can pick her up on the way through. I don't even think George knows she's still in here. She'll be fine. Ugh, Sandra, I'm so sorry. I'll come back for you, okay? <sighs> no. Y you're not real. You're not... <sighs> seeing things now. Amber, I don't know what to say. Listen, I know this is going to sound crazy, but my brother summoned me, and when he did, he let something else through, and it's controlling him. You need to get rid of it. You need to help my brother. Okay, I can't believe that I'm saying or doing this, but okay. Now, Sandra, you need to find something to do with a Ouija board. A Ouija what? A Ouija board. It's what people use to communicate to the dead with. That's how he summoned me and how the demon got through. Well, how's the demon controlling him? Like, is there something I can do to use against him? The demon's a shapeshifter, meaning he looks like me. That's why my brother's trusting him. But it's corrupting him. You really need to find that Ouija board and then I can tell you what to do. Okay, okay, I'll try the attic. Okay, Amber, I have the Ouija board. What now? Good, now that you have the Ouija board, Say the demon's name, and the rest is up to George. Uh, what is this? What is this? Oh my dog. Okay, okay. Where do I go? Okay, okay. Who are you? Kelly Horda, demon and shapeshifter, I command you to let George go. Where am I? What's happening? Oh my dog. Oh my dog, she's not breathing. She's, she's not breathing. What have I done? George, please listen to me. This isn't what I wanted. Just let me go. I can't let you go. You're all I have, sis. You're all I have. It's okay, George. You can come down. Just come over here. Step away from the edge. No, Amber, no. I can't do this anymore. Look what I've done. And my sister, she's gone forever. I'm so sorry, Sandra. I can't. I can't do this. 
No, George, don't. No. After that, I phoned the police. They came, but it was already too late. I was the sole survivor of this incident. Some say I still may have been hallucinating at all, but I know what I saw, and I've never felt the same since that night, and I don't think I ever will.